All right, I'm in an odd place for this, actually the right place for this, if you know anything about this. Uh, today I wanna to talk to you about something out of the ordinary. Uh, Jeffrey Dahmer, okay? Let me just tell you a little bit about my, my upbringing and my background. My mom's a judge. She worked in correctional facilities and um, 35, 40 years. My brother's a lawyer, although he's not working in, um, he's not really working in like um, the kind of law you think about. So anyways, um, my, but he did study criminal law, and my father was in the army, a martial artist, black belt, and uh, studied all different kinds of martial arts, but I grew up in all of those things, and I didn't want to do any of it. I was like, I want to be in entertainment. I got caught by the bug from one of my mother's boyfriends. Uh, taking me to the theater and backstage and stuff. So I learned a lot about theater and singing and acting and dancing and comedy. And that's really what I loved the most. So that's what I wanted to do. And, um, but you can't escape the thoughts in your mind and the things that you think about because of the way that you grow up. So um, when I get angry, I used to get really mad at people when I was younger, about 10 years ago. I don't get mad anymore. I really don't have a lot of patience. I'm really calm, cool, and like collected about all things. Um, but when I used to get mad, I would be like, oh, like I'm going to be Jeffrey Dahmer on these people. And I would literally use that phrase. <laughs> I don't want to cut you up and eat you, but, you know, creepy things when grandmas would say, oh, I just want to eat your cheeks or bite your cheeks off or something like that. It's creepy. I know. I didn't actually say that to children, but anyways. So... My point is, I used to think about Jeffrey Dahmer a lot, and when I was in my early 20s, I was thinking, maybe I'll give up on all this stuff and I'll just go into forensics. It's really easy to get through the school. It's something I can do. I already know a lot about it. And I used to look up on purpose. I didn't watch horror movies, but I used to look up um, old um, crimes that have not been um, figured out yet, like, like, like Jeffrey Dunn, like, um, he had, he, they obviously found him out and he went to prison, but I used to look up, um, the Zodiac Killer and stuff like that. Other different criminals, I don't remember the names of, where they never, um, found out everything and if the person was caught, it was so horrible. So I would look up, like, police reports and, try to figure out um, what they missed and how they went about it. And um, anyway, I just was thinking about this, that uh, <laughs> Jeffrey Dahmer had to have been insane. Okay, I know what it looks like on people. And when I watch his interviews, I notice some of the stuff that's going on with him that was going on with me. And at the time, I was sane. So it wasn't affecting me quite as much at that time. And just after that, just after I started researching this guy, I started going really, really crazy. But the thing is, is that I would watch him, his face and his mannerism, mannerisms and Think about all the stuff that they must have put him through when he finally got caught and put in prison, what he had to go through mentally to have to hide so much. So 
it's like really weird thing to understand that and know the things that happen inside of prison and the legal forces do not um they're not shy about it they don't hide any of it it's it's really right out there in the open. We know you're insane. We could have put you in the mental facility and had you in a tight white room with a jacket around you just because. We don't even have to test your mind for that. We could have done it. And it's so easily visible and noticeable to other people that there's something going on with you. But we're not going to do anything about that. Because to put you in a mental facility would be a lighter sentence okay it's considered a lighter sentence if you're just in a room by yourself you get three meals a day you don't have to deal with anybody right um so they put them um, in a high security prison which is not the same thing you still have to deal with other people well so i'm gonna get through this trust me there is a man i don't know if everybody who's watching this knows about this but there is a man who um, killed Jeffrey Dahmer. He didn't get very much media attention. And the media did this on purpose. We don't want this guy in prison. This is back in the 90s, 80s, 90s. We don't want this guy to get the most media attention for being the killer of this bad guy and end up being a hero because he is in prison for being a serial killer or rapist, whatever he was. I don't even know his name. And you really shouldn't know this guy's name. It's a big part of history. Who killed Jeffrey Dahmer, right? But he, um, he's, first of all, you have to be really big and you have to be really brave. Jeffrey Dahmer was huge, gay, serial killer and he is not one of my icons okay but I tried it I gotta tell you to be scary to people <laughs> I tried it and I don't like it I don't like that about myself I try to ignore that I ever thought about that not to be a serial killer but I mean just the things that were happening inside of my mental illness I don't have that killer instinct my more natural instincts are to be protective, like a dog, like, you know, whoever's hurting the people that I love, I protect, but not to kill because of my background in corrections and the um, legal system. There's no way I would do anything to go to prison, especially now, knowing that I would end up in a mental facility, which... For someone who feels like they're pretty normal, it's a pretty hard place to be, is the worst sentence for me. I've been in mental hospitals and just for evaluation, it's not something you, it's not like your weekend clubhouse, you know what I mean? Not something you want to do on a regular basis. So <laughs> like some people just go to jail because they do stupid shit and they think it's funny. They just pay the fine and get out. That's not that's not the way this thing works. It's not the same. I don't like it. Just me. I don't like it. Whatever. But some people go back because they think they feel better when they go home. I don't know. But it's really because you end up there because you're in trouble. Something's going on right here. It's bugging me. But anyway, um, so, yeah, this Jeffrey Dahmer thing, uh, I was just thinking about the guy that killed him in prison. It seems like some people should be considered heroes. For I mean, they didn't put him in mental hospital. They knew he was crazy and that he was going through something. Um, but they gave him the heavy sentence in a few years, somebody, something caught up to him and somebody got him just for being who he is and probably for getting a lot of media attention. Why were we giving him so much attention, by the way? It was just so interesting to us in the eighties, right? And, um, so the guy that killed him didn't get as much 
and we didn't do, I don't even know that there's an interview. And I don't want to know who he is. I don't want to know these people. I don't want to know. I wish I didn't know about Jeffrey Dahmer to tell you the truth. I wish I never heard of him. It's sick and it makes you sick. And I do not, I don't like looking those things up after I became a little bit crazy. I decided not to watch those things anymore and not to investigate crimes and to leave the law to the law. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's not that I have no business. I just, it's too scary for me to, it makes things more real than reality. And I don't like that. You know, like if your whole life was in 4D, it seems like it is, but if it was, really, no way. That doesn't make sense. It makes sense. Watching a 3D movie, you know how things come at you? They go at you like this. You don't want your life to be like that. It's weird. It's weird. I don't like that. But anyway, yeah, so that's just my thoughts, heroes. We make people heroes. I'll try to split this video in half. We make people heroes. Um, because we see things in the movies and like all of our heroes in the action movies are serial killers. It's one of those things where like in real life, it's not that way, but why not? And it shouldn't be though, but it shouldn't be. But I'm just saying there's so many of those real serial killers that are caught for those things, doing it for whatever reasons. And thinking they think they were right. Otherwise, they would be out of prison for remorse. And they're not getting out because they think they were right. And they continue to do the same thing. They kill inside of prison. And, um, I mean, these guys are real bad. And for some reason in the movies, we all look up to them. You know, even I do it. I'm a big Keanu Reeves fan, but more of the person, not the character. Or more of the character, not the person. Really, I don't know what it is, but we all love it. And I'm just trying to say that some of that stuff is real to life. It comes from somebody's imagination, but it had to come from somewhere. It had to have actually happened before it is imagined. I feel the same thing about aliens and UFO and Godzilla and stuff. All of that is from real facts in life, things that people have claimed to really see. The Bible is just exaggerated stories. Um, personally, I shouldn't say this for everybody to hear it, but personally, I think Moses and Jesus were schizophrenics. They were hearing things, they were seeing things that nobody else was hearing and seeing, and their imagination totally went wild. But to a point where they could control it, they felt that they had some amount of control and the things that they were out of control of were good for them. So to me, that spells talent. That spells an incredible amount of skill and talent that was a force by nature. I don't know. I'm just really not that religious, but that's what, I love those stories. I love the Bible as a storybook. And I think they had to have been a little bit exaggerated over throughout the years and the translations that it had to go through. So, yeah, we don't know. It's real. But it had to come from somewhere. We do know, actually, we do know that the Bible stuff, the people were real. We know that. Okay, it's been proven, they found bones, all of this other stuff. But yeah, so I'm just saying that those heroes, like you see in the movies, they exist, but half, more than half of them are in prison. We've got the people in the mafia, they always think they're right. But we shouldn't be looking up to the mafia, right? <laughs> people like, um, like um, what's his name? Um, not Al Pacino, but his characters. I don't, it's like everybody wants to be like Scarface, but it's not my favorite um, Latino inspiration. Um, I don't know. Everybody loves him. And <laughs> a 
I'm like, he's like a crazy drug addicted serial killer. What's so great about that? Right? You just, if you try to emulate that, you end up in prison if you're caught. But the only way not to be caught is to have people owe you money. And the only place to get away with that is like Mexico. You can't be here in America. So in America, it's just a big old pipe dream. But that's why I like it here. That's why we love it here so much, right? So I changed that. Anyway, those are just my thoughts on like real life heroes and how some of them are are exactly like we, what we see in the movies, but they do exist. And sometimes, no, killing is not for the right reason, but sometimes people, <laughs> I guess what I'm trying to say is that if prisoners are killing each other, it's just better for our taxes. No, that's not what I'm trying to say either. Boy, is it hard to be politically correct or what? Anyways, I'll see you later. Tell me what you think about this. Do you ever think about that? Put the movies in real life together and try to figure out like what? Uh, I mean, everybody does it, right? If you were a cop or a lawyer or a judge, you could point out everything that they do in in those movies to figure out what point in the movie that somebody would get caught or be put in jail. And they always try to add the cops. Like the cops tried, but they all got killed. Well, who gets caught for that? Oh, they throw it under the rug and like, we don't hear about it because that happens in real life too. It does. Even today with all of your iPhones, it is happening. They push it under the rug I don't know about in California, but it happens. Okay, make no mistakes. It's real and people know about it, but we try to pretend like it's not a thing. It's just in the movies because we want it to be. Americans, that's what we call America. America wants the dream life to be real. It just depends, you know. The success you have depends on what your dream is which kind of hero do you want to be like what's your movie in life what what movie would your life be right and my problem when i used to get mad or try to be all gangster about life i don't know why i don't belong to anything i don't i don't choose sides really black black white red blue i don't choose Besides, I'm just proud to be brown. I'm happy with myself. But my mistake when I was younger was that I tried to be really mean when I was mad. And I picked the wrong people. You know, I don't, I never looked, I didn't look up to anybody thought he was crazy. But I want to say this about crazy people. In the last, the end of the video right here. Thing about crazy people, and I know crazy people. My mom is crazy. Have you ever met my mom? <laughs> okay. She has a way of driving you insane up and down, back and forth. She just verbally, she will drive you insane. And she doesn't even pick and choose. She does it to everybody. It's a skill. I don't know where she developed it or how or why. But she tries it to me. And it's very hard knowing that it's coming and trying to stop it. It's still very hard knowing when it's coming. But she will she will do that to you if you're not careful. And I, I witness it with other people. I just laugh because there's nothing you can do. You can't go to prison for driving somebody crazy. You know, <laughs> she's so skilled. But anyway, she's really crazy, and I've seen people try to do stuff to her, and I'm like, that's the woman you want to mess with? I'm staying away from you. Because um, the thing about it is, crazy, the only crazy that beats crazy is something crazier, and there is always going to be somebody crazier than you. If you think you're crazy, there is always going to be somebody crazier than you. Don't. Try and find them. 
if I were, let me just take this piece of advice. Do not try and find them. No. Take your youth and keep it with yourself. Be better to yourself by not trying to figure out who's worse than you are because it's not going to make you a happier person, believe me. My mom gets me. She knows that I'm very protective and sometimes I, f I fear getting in fights when I'm around her. So I have to learn to walk away. I had to learn to walk away. And um, that's a skill that I've developed and some relationships really work out that well, work out well that way. So that's our relationship. Um, recognize how we are, and, you know, don't try and get the people you love in trouble for you. Bring peace. Peace to the world. Peace to you. Peace out. See you later. Thank you. My phone is ringing. I love you guys for trying to watch this the whole 20 minutes or the whole two parts. Bye.